the fit to box fitness glove world cup semi-final number two Hello and welcome to fit to box channel I'm coach Simon and here on fit to box channel I bring you all things boxing equipment today is semi-final number two of the fit to box fitness glove world cup between this glove the star pro m33 priced at 29 pounds 99 and this glove which is sold in decathlon outshock the bg 500 ergo and this one again priced at £29.99 so I'm going to go through this semi-final starting off with round number one style this glove here does come in different colours as you can see I've put the, if you look at the stitching stitching a different colour it's quite bright they've used their sort of the logos and also the colouring on that sort of synthetic leather so it's a, a decent looking glove for this one, I actually think that this is a great looking glove for a £29.99 glove. I think they've really thought about what it looks like in terms of the wrist, but also sort of the pattern that's at the back. And also, I have got at the front with how they've gone with that front of the wrist as well, with a little bit of mesh at the front. I really do think there's a lot of design cues uh, like things like the webbed thumb a lot of design cues that you wouldn't expect on a £30 glove so I'm going to go 10 points to this glove and 9 points to this glove round number 2 comfort ok so put this on now and as I slide it in straight away it feels like you have got quite a short wrist especially if you've got long arms like me you can open up like so on the finger pad you can feel sort of a very it's a flat surface on the finger pad so there's no discomfort there there's no discomfort at the back there I'm opening up fine and also the thumb is is in there as well like tucked in you've got a round punch surface as well and so that is a comfortable glove especially for under 30 pounds and then we come to this one and now this one as I slide my hand in You've got a front Velcro, which I'm not a big fan of. You have got some really sort of good support at the back of that wrist with sort of that diagonal going up uh, there. As I open up, you can open up a little bit, but not as easy as that one. Also inside the lining, you can feel, it feels like a thick lining, but it feels like, almost like it's gathering. And that is causing a bit of rubbing in that sort of area there. The finger pads is quite sort of comfortable you've also got there a thumb that is very sort of flat and straight in that position as you can see so out of the two of these when it comes to comfort i am going to go 10 points to the star pro m33 and nine points to the outshock bg 500 ergo okay then let's come on to round number three and that is durability durability if i bring that one towards that is a synthetic pu and on the front there they have got a small mesh i do think that this glove is well constructed and also they do offer a two-year warranty on this glove that's how much they think uh, this will wear so that is a great plus when it comes to that glove and with this one as i bring that around it's well made in that synthetic leather and also you can see it's got some decent stitching on there as well but round three i am going to give it to the outshock 10 points to the outshock and nine points to the m33 from star pro then we come on to round number four and that is sparring when it comes to sparring you've got that round punch surface there very sort of amateur style punch surface and also you have got a short cuff as well on the wrist as i put that in there you can open up as i've said before good punch surface 
And so that, as a sparring glove, that is a decent sparring glove for the price. Then we come on to this one, and as you can see, the square nature of that punch surface as I bring it round. In there, they say there's a dual density padding, but that very square punch surface is very different to very to a lot of gloves and that wrist as well is quite stiff when you've got it on so you pull it like so it's got the elastic there okay but that means that's quite stiff um it's you can't sort of flex it up which keeps that line which is fine but that punch surface being so square when it comes to sparring i just prefer this one and so i'm going to go points wise 10 points to the star pro and nine points to the outshock. Round number five, bag. Again, that punch surface, that flat punch surface, you know, when you're hitting the bag, it does give a good connection. Um, I would say though that it's a bit too flat, it's a bit too square. Um, as you can have Mexican gloves and they're like square sort of in their sort of punch surface, but I mean, it won't balance on its end, but it's not far off. It's just a little bit too too square so with this one you've got that rounder and i just felt that that punch surface was better on the bags i uh, just got a better connection because with this one if you didn't hit it actually flush with the squareness it didn't feel great whereas obviously this one being rounded it was more accommodating so we have a round five and i'm going 10 points to the star pro and nine points to the out shock and then we come on to round six value for money these are star pros top line starter gloves at 29 pounds 99 and i think that is great value for money i also think that this is great value for money given the effort and thought that they have put into these i really do again 29.99 i am going to favor just because of comfort how they performed in sparring how they performed on the bag i am going to favor the star pro m33 and so that brings us to the end of the contest and the scores are as follows 58 points to 56 points and we have a winner the star pro m33 the winner of semi-final number two and these will go into the final against the rdx gloves behind me and then again this is not the last time we will see these gloves these will go into the third place matchup against the other loser of the semi-final, which was the Everlast Spark. And so, there's still after this contest, we've got the third place playoff match, and then we've got the final of the Fitterbox Fitness Glove World Cup. So, I hope you enjoyed that. Please like and subscribe to Fitterbox channel, and I shall speak to you soon.